Ring game taking over, that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut, season off top, you stop breathing. Yeah, yeah, what's good, yo? Welcome to another episode of Real Talk, where, as always, if shit's real, we talk about it. I'm your host for tonight, Pat Scorpion, the Daily Representer, and as always, I got my man with me. I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Hey, yo, what's good? You know who this is. Your boy, King P, Bodega P, Bodega Box in the building. Ring Gang Radio all day. Let's go. Hey, you know, King P, Bodega P, straight from the sewer. You know, but obviously, you know, he, he manages Bodega these days. And so, P, you know, tell us who's banned from the Bodega this week. Non-football loving ass nigga. You hate <laughs> on football, you gonna be banned from the Bodega. <laughs> <laughs> Tired of these niggas shitting on football. Yes, sir. Football, football is you know, is the, one of the greatest sports that one could ever sit to play and watch or gamble on or fantasy football, any of that shit, bro. It, 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 oh, anything about football is wonderful, except the owners, of course, of these teams, you know, because, you know, racism. You know, but other than that, you know, yeah, football is, is A-OK. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, you know, yeah, non-football ass niggas, you know, they gotta stay away from, they gotta stay out of the bodega um, this week, man. Yeah, cause they, they, have, they, they have to get their minds right. Word up. But yes, uh, I got my other man with me. I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Hey, what's fly? It's your boy Conscious Pod, aka the West Coast Avenger, number one contender preparing for liftoff. Destination is ringing radio. Let's fly. Yes, sir. You know, Conscious Pilot, you know, stays elevating above the clouds and shit. You know, no turbulence this time. Yes, sir. Uh, and last, but certainly not least, I got my other man with me. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Yo, 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 you already know who the fuck it is. It's your boy, Ron. Top five in the building. Chicago's on. Chicago, stand up. Green game. Nigga. Yes, sir. So, you know, Rome Top 5, a.k.a. Chicago win, because I, as I always say, he leaves these niggas in the breeze. Yes, sir, it's good to have him. You know, it's good to have him on our show or whatever, man, and especially for this topic. And obviously, you know, we're going to talk about, um, you know, the tragic passing of PNB Rock um, a little later in the segment. But before we do, you know, we got, you know, the full, you know, the new football season has started. You know, so obviously, with the exception of someone who shall remain nameless, you know, all of us, you know, all of us are, uh, you know, are, 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 are excited about this, man. You know, cause, yes, sir. Uh, because we you know all big, you know, we're all big football fans here. You know, we you know, like I said, you know, outside of this boxing and the music and all stuff we talk about, football is one of, you know, it's, it's what it's, you know, we all love that shit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, definitely want to start off with, of course, you know, week one is just completed. So we definitely want to start off, you know, for, you know, each of us just talking about what we so what we saw in our on our teams. And I'm going to start off with Pilot since Pilot. You know, is a fan of the Rams, who are the current defending Super Bowl champions. So, yeah, that's gonna be, and that's gonna be gone soon. <laughs> <laughs> so, them Pilot, niggas, you know, tell us them some, niggas is trash. Hold on, let me interject. Them niggas are trash this year. Man. I didn't, I didn't they pick up Odell. I mean, they better no. pick up Odell right now because they ain't got nobody. <laughs> so, Pilot, tell us about the Rams' performance on Thursday night. Um, it wasn't honestly that unexpected for me to be honest. Um, you know, coming from getting the ring, um, you know, in that Super Bowl, I think during our discussion talking about it, I think we were, did we preview the Super Bowl? Maybe not. But either no, way, I, I was thinking Odell Beckham might have shined, and um, he was gonna. I think he was probably on his line to get MVP if he stayed healthy, but he tore his shit up. But with that said, um. I wasn't surprised because our running game has been lackluster for a while and a lack of a, either a speed demon receiver or a true number two. I know we sent Allen Robinson, but Stafford wasn't looking his way at all. Um, for, you know, from Rome's team, the Bears, Allen Robinson. Um, Monster. So, Monster. You know, NFC West for the years, to me, over the past decade, has been the strongest division top to bottom. Um, this year, it's looking like that's going to change. Looking a little uh, shaky, baby. Look yeah. Sh- yeah, Seattle won the fucking division so far. <laughs> the only team that won. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, I'm a rat. I'm a hoping that I think we still have a good chance to win the division. I just don't, you know, NFC is always wide open. So there's a lot oh, of work wait. to be done. I'm not really worried unless we lose to Atlanta next week, to be honest. Then I'm going to put the pen button on the <laughs> If we lose to Atlanta or struggle against Atlanta, you know, yeah, no, I I feel you on that though because you know one thing Atlanta does you know and they still and they did it and they managed to do it in their first game is to blow significant leads like 
like again, like and then of course you know the stupidity of that. Cause I saw the highlights of that shit, and then they try to have their kicker try to scoop, what kick a sixty-four yarder? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, yeah, which, that was good. Yeah, which got which got blocked. You know, by the way, <laughs> like even like not even a chance. Like you can do nothing. Just, you know, and you know, yeah, it, it it was a whole mess, man. Cause they had NFC NFC beef between the Saints and the Falcons is like legendary because especially you know when one wins in the other stadium you know and then you know they don't know how to act so I saw all them I saw all them Twitter highlights you know Falcon fans were pissed I mean legitimately pissed at what's going on like you know niggas is crying niggas is you know making skits niggas is burning like Atlanta Falcons merchandise and you had the Saints all up in Atlanta you know from Walmart or whatever you know doing doing what they do you know, do that, this, you know, playing bands that, making it like little New Orleans and shit. Like, <laughs> and with that said, I think the Bills, there's a reason why they're their favorites to come out the AFC. So, I mean, it seems like they're, they're kind of the darling to come out the AFC, right? Yeah. Yeah, right now, because, yeah, honestly, right now. And I, I was, I was going to say that, like, probably you think that your team is just trash, or you think because they play the top? <laughs> <laughs> you think no, I, 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 you think that they played a top five team? They just got outmatched. The first yeah, game I think it's right. more so. The, yeah, I think it's more so the Bills, and we lost. You know, Von Miller, we lost Von Miller to them as well. Um, and Bobby Wagner was out there, but he wasn't really out there. So, I mean, the Bills, AFC is a little more competitive, but the Bills, they do look damn lethal. So it didn't surprise right, me. But, that. But, I, I thought and the Bills was, went. The Bills went out killing. At the at last season, so you everybody should have known that they was gonna come out like guns blazing because they wanted that Super Bowl. You feel me? Yeah, yo, Josh Allen, yo, because I, I saw I because I watched it. Yo, it looked like the straight up stud in that game. Like, bro, bro took you know he he put the he put that team on his back, and the and the team responded to him like, dude, like dude is dangerous right now. Like, you know, and and you know the Bills are starving for that Super Bowl because you know the you know. Infamous, you know, in the '90s, where they made the Super Bowl four, four Super Bowls in a row, and the closest one was the one where the kicker blew a field goal, <laughs> you know, against the Giants. You know, it, it was one of the more legendary ones. You know, the basis for the legendary Ray Finkel uh, Ace Ventura bit. You know, it's yeah, the Bills have been starving for a Super Bowl, and it took them a while to even win a playoff game like since the '90s, and now they're like I said, honestly, if the if, if I don't see them in the AFC Championship game like this year, some something went something went horribly wrong, like horribly wrong. You know what I mean? Oh man, though. But uh, but also probably too. I mean, it could be just the Rams is uh, suffering from Super Super Bowl hangover. Honeymoon, yeah, the, yeah, the hangover, yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, let me see. No, see none it. of that. They got smacked. No I still think I mean I mean even even with that said, Rome, come on now. I think the Rams should win the NFC, uh, NFC West. I mean, the, it just kind of asked this year. Who else is in that division? The Niners, <laughs> the Niners, the Cards, and uh, Seattle. Now I got the Cardinals coming out of that. Dude. I don't know. We'll see. I don't think I don't think Clinsbury is it. I don't Cliff Clinsbury. I don't think he's kind of. Yeah, but, I, I, I mean, I don't know what they're gonna do without Hopkins over there in the Cardinals, though. But that's the thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but he comes back to six games. So if they can, I mean, they got lose, weapons. You know, they got if weapons. They can win, if they can win four without them, if they can win four or three without them, like, what is it? But they just got No, I mean, they, they still have weapons. They, got, they still got Marquise Hollywood. Yeah, they still right. got weapons. I just, I don't think Kingsbury's, I don't think Kingsbury's a very good coach, to be honest with you. Agreed. Uh, and, and my and my Blazian bro, he's nice, but I don't know. Uh, Kyler sometimes. Kyler is good. The, Kyler, is, <laughs> Kyler is not the problem with that team. Uh, it's clean poor theory. coaching, poor, poor game planning, poor execution. Like that doesn't fall on him. That's right. on the fuck coach. And they're, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no zero execution. They they have all the talent with no execution. Plus, I think people kind of thought that the Chiefs would regress since they traded Tyreek. Uh, I think the reports of their demise might be have, have been a little bit premature. Yeah. So, I, I, but yeah. I, I, yeah, I think what I think what people didn't realize was the weapon wasn't really Tyreek. The weapon was Mahomes because this nigga has people spread out everywhere and this nigga just looking head on the swivel, just throwing that bitch. He don't give a fuck who out there. It could be Tyreek yeah. Hill, it could be right. Tyreek Evans, nigga. <laughs> well, I mean, I always felt, I kind of always felt in a way, this is my personal opinion, I kind of felt that as much of a weapon Tyreek is, he kind of hurt them because... 
He's kind of a, a gadget receiver that needs to be. He used can't do much. Crazy. All he can do is nine nine routes. Nigga. Well, I mean, nine he, routes he, and dust a dust a nigga on a slant or some well, shit. He he needs to be used in certain ways, which kind of requires them force feeding him, which takes away from everyone else. Right, so right. like now that he's still not, he's there, still not even he's not even big enough to be one of those receivers, you know, let fight fight for it and shit like that. Like not, not, he just he's just a speed guy. Now that he's out the way, like now they have more of different type of receivers, more versatile, like a more <laughs> versatile group that can be used differently. And he so, still got the best. They still got the best tight end, Travis Kelsey. I, I forgot that all season. Exactly. They exactly. still got Travis Kelsey. And, and Andy Reid. Uh, and Andy, uh, Andy, Andy, Andy Reid spoke to me. I was I was talking about that. Right. And Andy still has some juice left. That's that's for sure. Oh man. <laughs> Yeah, the, uh, like I said, though, I mean the Rams. Like, I mean, we'll, just, we'll see how we'll see how they go. I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I have them coming out the NFC West, you know. But Stafford's gonna have to because he was fucking up a lot there. I mean, he was fucking up out there. So <laughs> I saw some of them highlights. <laughs> First game, you can't really say much though. We'll see after five what these niggas is really shaped up to be. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the Chiefs game tomorrow is gonna be good because you know I think that's the cream of the crop because people were coming and say the AFC West is gonna be that division. Um, so, so Chiefs Chargers tomorrow should be should be a slobber knocker as well. Old Moss would say. Well, well. <laughs> yeah, but let's take it now to the NFC North with Rome. So Rome, man, tell us. I mean, I, mean, I think you saw some highlights of the Bears and everything. So tell us what you think about the you know, what, that game and what you think of the Bears' chances this year and, and other things. I think that we got a lucky win first game. <laughs> Took it, took advantage of the weather, but it was yeah. a great, com- it was a great confidence boost that we needed, you know, to keep the wins going because the schedule's not that hard, so we can we can truck out wins like this. Right. Um, this was a good, good this was a good win because nobody expected the Bears to win. They're like, oh, Trey Lance, this nigga's nice, oh, light skinned nigga, next Patrick <laughs> Mahomes, all that shit. So. And he would, I'm not gonna lie, I like the way he looked. I like, he gonna, he gonna shout out to be a nice quarterback. Like, I was scared watching this nigga play, cause I'm like, yo, this nigga looks like pristine. He was missing a lot of passes, but on the passes that he was making, it looked like, it looked too perfect. It looked like he was in college doing this shit. It looked nice. Like, I like Trey Lance a lot. Well, yeah, but I know, I mean, but I think a lot of people, I know a lot of Niners fans have been giving him a lot of shit for that game for some reason. Like, oh, really? Yeah, but you no, tried- I mean it's his first game of the season, and he's in in Soldier Field. Do you know what Soldier Field is? And those he's conditions Soldier- too. Yep, and those conditions. Right, and the rain was coming down like a monsoon in that bitch. I mean, like, mm-hmm. and it was it was a down to the wire game. Like it was, if he would have won that, they would have called this nigga Rookie of the Year, all that shit. So, <laughs> Facts. Yeah. So this, I mean, he he gonna come up, but Justin Fields. This is squad. He gonna lead us to the promised land. Fuck the Packers. Fuck the Vikings. Fuck the Lions, nigga. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is, man. You know, and Packers yeah. is washed. Packers is washed. I don't know what the fuck happened with Aaron Rodgers, but oh, I know what happened. Devontae Adams is on fucking Las Vegas now. That's what happened. Yeah, now he ain't got no. Yeah, now he, he ain't got nobody to throw to. Right yeah, now he was, talk, he was talking all that shit to Jordan Love. And now Jordan Love come in on last two minutes looking way nicer than that nigga. Way nicer. No, I I was laughing. I seen a um I seen a um a video uh, on Twitter. Yeah, I watched wrestling. I seen a clip on Twitter, and the tweet was like a live look at Aaron Rodgers at the po- at the um press conference after the game at the post game press conference, and it was CM Punk. He was like, I'm old, I'm hurt, yeah. I'm tired, and I work with fucking children. <laughs> fucking children. Man. You know what? I used to like, I used to like, I used to like Karen Rogers, but now I like seeing Karen Rogers get fucking packed these days, man. Yeah, I mean, let, let's put it. I mean, I, I, I always respect Aaron Rodgers because I do. I mean, he's definitely Hall of Fame bound. But yeah, lately, dude just seems like dude is on some hippie shit. I remember he he gave some wild interview talking about taking some peyote or some bullshit like that. Like, dude was out there like in space. Like, like this is a motherfucker that should be that's playing ball and and, and, it, look, and it just looked like it. Like he looked he looked trash. Like he was getting sacked all over the place. You know, nigga was getting bumped like a little nigga. Like he was like he looked horrible. 
I mean, this nigga's had 20 different teams, only got to one, one Super Bowl, like, nigga, like, he, you've he had gets, 20. Gets a, yeah, he gets the LeBron excuses, I felt like. This, no, nah, this nigga's had 20 great teams, and I've hated this nigga my whole life, because he's, ever since Brett Favre, okay, they had Brett Favre. I hated that nigga. He destroyed the Bears. He we destroyed. We had niggas like Rex Grossman, Kyle Orton going against Brett Favre every, <laughs> two, every two weeks, nigga. Like, yeah, what the fuck is gonna happen? Well, at least Rex had a run. You know, that was a that was a devil run, but he had a run. At least. Nigga, our defense had a run. He didn't have a run. That nigga threw four <laughs> interceptions a game, and we'll get three picks. We'll get three picks for touchdowns, and that's how we'll win, nigga. <laughs> But no, I hated Aaron Rodgers my whole life. This nigga always comes Soldier Field or we go to Lambeau and this nigga just, oh, gosh, y'all. I'm like, no. <laughs> and this nigga's had Donald Driver, fucking Greg Jennings, Devontae Adams, the big white nigga. Like, play, play he, he's, had, he's had top five defenses. Like, this nigga's had all types of squads. Now, it, they want this nigga to retire. That's why we ain't giving him no money. They're like, yo, nigga, fuck you, nigga. Throw it to these niggas. You can't but do it, all right, leave. Didn't they break this nigga off with, some, with a huge contract, though? No, I mean, it, that's just paying him for what he did, nigga. They not they paying him for MVP status. They not paying him to be their quarterback. They really yeah, want Jordan Love yeah, in there. Yeah, let, let Aaron Rodgers have three more bad games. Jordan Love is coming in there. Trust me. Yeah, but the thing with Packers, because I mean, I don't think they're all in with Jordan Love, because you know, the second that this, you know, Packers leave, I mean, every team, every team with a shitty quarterback or or mid quarterback is gonna be going at them, throwing all types of bread at him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, but ch- check this out. Check this out. If the Packers go zero and four, what you think they're gonna do with Jordan Love? They 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 probably will put him in, depending on the. They, uh, I no, would, they're gonna they're not they're not gonna will put him in, nigga. They're gonna start that nigga. And then Aaron Rodgers is gonna be looking dusty because they're gonna go on a win streak. For the injury or something for him, you know? Listen, the new quarterback is not Aaron Rodgers. The new quarterback is the black Trey Lance, Deshaun Watson, Patrick Mahomes type of quarterback. These niggas are the ones that are winning games. You can't just be, oh, nigga, I'm a gunslinger and think you got fucking top three receivers and you just gonna sling it to these niggas. 45 times and shit. Nigga, Aaron Jones can't win every game for you, nigga. (laughs) <laughs> True. And nigga, and, and we still got a battle Kirk Cousins and all them fucking crazy ass niggas over there. <laughs> Fuck the Vikings, yo. I swear. Fuck the Vikings. I ain't got shit to say about this. Yo, that's what it is, yo. Uh, P, man, <laughs> tell us about the Jets, bro. Oh, boy. I mean, I knew this week was not going to be a good week because, I mean... Zach Wilson got hurt after he showed so much promise. He got hurt in the fucking preseason. I thought he was going to tear his ACL, but thankfully it's just a sp- uh, sprain. So he's going to be out for a little bit. The first, like they said, up to week four. So we got to deal with fucking Joe Flacco for these next couple games. So I knew that it wasn't going to be a revenge game against the Ravens. It was going to be a nightmare because Joe Flacco <laughs> can't fucking move one bit. He's got cinder block feet. Um, but you know, saying otherwise, you know, I knew we were gonna lose the game, and of course we did. But uh, the defense showed some improvement. I'll say that. Uh, there's more weapons, so you know, the running game, the receivers. You know, say that kid Elijah Moore is gonna be real, real good until he, when he when he gets somebody to fucking throw to him, which won't be Joe Flacco. <laughs> <laughs> He's he's old and he's working with children, but he's not even a good old person. Like, what the fuck? I like Brees Hall. I thought that nigga. I thought that nigga retired. How the fuck did he? No, no, he retired. Yo, he he his kids dead ass told him he wasn't good at it. Like his kids. Like, like nigga, if Baltimore got rid of him, he should have known that nigga. I like the jet. I mean, I you know I play multiple man league. And like the Jets are a good team to build with because you know they got a lot of young pieces. You know what I mean? Um, Sauce Gardner's, you know, he's the highlight of that. He looked great in his, in his 
first game, like he looks like a premier shutdown corner, which yeah, is what six, we need. Three, six three like that, and then I think they're running back. What's his name? Brees Hall or what? Brees Hall. Well, well, Brees Hall is Brees Hall is one. He was the rookie, but Michael, Michael Carter. Carter. Michael Carter uh, got the the lion's share of the carries, and he looked really good. I drafted that nigga. I drafted so, that nigga. I like that nigga. I, yeah. I did too in a couple of my leagues. He's he's still he's still gonna be a force. So they're gonna have the two punch combo. So, you know, saying it's just the offensive line because our tackles are hurt because Beckton's out. Then Dwayne Brown, who we signed, got hurt. So our, our tackles are going to get beat like a drum until they get healthy and come back. And then the quarterback situation because, you know, Flacco sucks. And it's well, like, I'm not going to lie. Flacco is Flacco the best quarterback the Jets has had in a long ass time. No, he's not. No, the fuck he's not. I mean, since, I, since, Mari- no, since Mariota. He's the best quarterback y'all niggas has is Mariota. We didn't have Mariota. No, I was like, I was to say, like, no, I mean, the I mean Eagles, I like, Eagles I, I, had not the Eagles. Uh, the, the Titans had Mariota and the Falcons had Mariota. The Jets didn't have Mariota. And the Raiders. Raiders. Maybe talking about Vinny Testaverde. <laughs> yeah, Vinny Testaverde, maybe. <laughs> No, 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 even then, Chad, Pen- Chad Pennington is probably the yeah, best Pennington. quarterback. Season. No, you got no Mark Sanchez. I mean, he actually took y'all to the yeah, AFC. Mark Sanchez. No, 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 we got there. We about. got there in Mark spite Sanchez. of him, not because of him. No, Mark I mean, Sanchez. I, I was talking about Mark Sanchez. Sanchez was, was not, not the, last, good. the last time y'all were in the playoffs was that motherfucker was that, was that quarterback, bro. No, yeah, but but we but he was the weak link. We had a great defense and a great running game. We we made it there in spite of him, not because. Because of him, he was not very good. I'm like, I, I, I would, I wish he was. If, if he was that guy, we probably would have made the Super Bowl. But you know, it is what it is. So, I mean, you know. I mean, yeah, he did come apart because you know his lifestyle. You know, because you know, dude, they love the ladies a little bit too much. And he, yeah, he showed in his game. You know, that yeah, guy- we had one. He had one good year, and th- but after that, it was just. It was all downhill. Yeah, it, oh, yeah. I forgot y'all niggas had Brett Favre in one point. I mean, that, that, was, a, that was the last best quarterback y'all niggas had. Well, so, Brett, was, Brett wasn't, even when we had him, he wasn't very good that year. Uh, is he, is he tore his bicep like halfway through the season and he played like shit. He was not good that year. Plus, he didn't even want to be there and show. So, you know, <laughs> well, because he wanted to go to the Vikings because he wanted to stick it to the Packers. But, you know, it, it is what it is. So. Yeah, I mean, you, yeah, you guys had a. I mean, yeah, you, you had Gino, who, and he had, you know, you had Mike Vick, and Brian Fitzpatrick, who's who's everyone's quarterback. Fitzpatrick might have had the best season of any quarterback since Testaverde. Uh, he actually had that that one season. He actually had a really good season, but it all fell apart at the end. So, yeah. with <laughs> ten and six, and still missed the playoffs. Ooh, sheesh! When does that happen? <laughs> <laughs> Very rarely does that happen where a team goes ten and six and misses the playoffs. Yeah, Sanchez, I think um his butt fumble is more no is more in infamy than him take you know, him and his ex Ryan that AFC team again, you know, again to the no, you know, fact, I remember I, cause I remember I was rolling like that was a, that was a Thanksgiving game. I remember yeah, I was like, like rolling so fucking hard because this dude he was playing so ass, but that butt fumble <laughs> like I seen so I mean so many Jet fans online were calling for his head like brothers like yo they were furious like you know I I'd never seen such I never never seen fuckery like that ever you know from this horrible play and then that just wrapped everything up in a bow like that shit was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was horrible. Like I still have memories of that. Oh my god, in my head I can still vision it in my head all over again. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah, and you heard the crowd go, oh! <laughs> and dude, he, I mean, dude, once he lost the ball, and dude just pretty much went face for it and banged the, banged the turf, because he knew that shit was up, and why the pack, why, um, why Gregory returned that shit to a, for a touchdown. Like, that shit was like, I was just saying, when it, when it rains, it pours. It pour like a motherfucker in that game. <laughs> yeah. But hopefully, you know, I, I, I'm. I like our general manager and our coach, you know, saying Robert Sala, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, he shows growth as a coach and, you know, hopefully Zach Wilson is the guy because, you know, saying we, even though, you know, he, he shows strides, we got to see if he could put it all together. So this team will go as far as the quarterback and coach will take us. Was he, so. was he up for like four weeks or so? He'll be back like week four. Week, I like to week, watch about you and Colin, so I'm, I'm pulling, I like Zach. Hopefully. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I wanted Fields 
um, I was a Justin Fields guy, but yeah. I I talked myself into Zach, and he, <laughs> he, he 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 has a lot. Of, he has some promise. I just he needs to stop. He's another guy that like he has that Mahomes in him, which is good and bad. Like he will throw it like. The re- the re- I wanted no parts of him when I watched him at college because I just I'm like who is this guy and why is he throwing 50 50 balls with such gambler, confidence yeah. up in the air yeah. I want no parts of that yeah but yeah. I mean he's got an arm and he's got a quick release because that was the thing like a lot of the quarterbacks that we had before like Darnold and Gino they got the ball out so slow. <laughs> like so slow, it took them forever to let go of the ball. It was like just throw the Nobody fucking ball away. So many, and, and, it, and it sucks because Makai Beckton's like you know is, is supposed to be one of the best left tackles in the NFL. Has been missing the past. Yeah, but he can't years. fucking stay. He can't. He can't stay in shape. This motherfucker is like four hundred pounds right now. Oh. That's basically he's getting hurt. Like, I mean, I, he's a big guy, but like four hundred pounds is kind of unacceptable. Drop down yeah. to like three fifty or something like that. Maybe. Like, don't don't, don't they have like a weight limit? Like, I mean, I mean, no, they don't have a weight limit. But he was always a heavy yeah. guy. Not, not, not um, the line, especially not six the eight, line. six eight. Like, like even at like like most linemen, even like the the like the best this linemen like six, are around eight, like four hundred pounds. Like that is even like huge. The best, the best offensive linemen are usually around three twenty five, three twenty five. Right. Like so they gotta, through, they gotta be imagine the pool and shit. extra 50, 60 pounds. Like that is crazy, and he keeps getting hurt because of it. Well, yeah, because like, he's so fucking big. Yeah, if, if, imagine a four hundred pound trying to push other big niggas around like that. Yeah, you know, ACLs probably snap a lot easier or whatever. <laughs> so yeah, our offensive line—that's the—that's the. The, Can you imagine trying to get through that nigga to try to get a little <laughs> quarterback or some shit? Like, yeah. And I think you line thing. up, you line yeah, up right. on that nigga side of four hundred pounds, six nigga. It's like, yo, I'm a, I'm gonna go around the other side. Nigga. Let yeah. this nigga block Ulti- the Ultimately, side. though, we'll see how it goes. I think the Jets will win more games than people think. I think the, I could see six or seven wins. Uh, like, because I looked at the things for the over and under. And they have the they have the Jets at five and a half for like total games won, and I'm like I'm definitely I would definitely bet the over for that. I think they'll win six at least six games, and maybe five, seven or. I mean that's kind of I mean that's low key an insult. Jeez. What five and a half? Yeah. Yeah. No, my man, three. It's a realist. I mean, you know, you know. No, I'm just. Saying. I mean, no, no, no. If I thought the Jets would win less than five games, I would say. We're winning less than five games. No, I don't like. I think we'll win six, seven games. The schedule is not hard. Uh, the NFC, the AFC East isn't the the uh, outside of Buffalo. There's no team that like the other two teams don't scare me. Uh, yeah. The Patriots aren't that good now. Um, I, I know everybody loves Bill Belichick, and Bill Belichick is a great coach, but that team has some holes. Mac oh, Jones, no, you gotta you gotta watch them Dolphins though, nigga. The yeah, Dolphins, Dolphins, the Dolphins have some promise, but the Dolphins are. I still need to see more with the Dolphins. I'm gonna be honest. You go Waddle and Tyreek Hill with Lil Tua. Tua turned the ball over. I'm just kidding. I yeah, it, 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 <laughs> I think, like I don't. I don't really. I not sure. I trust Tua completely. Um, and I don't think he fits with Tyreek that well. I think he's a worse. He's a worse fit with Tyreek than Mahomes was. Mahomes was a much Tyreek and Mahomes was a better fit than Tyreek and Tua. I Tua swear, them niggas, when they line up, they look like a whole bunch of wide receivers out there. Like nobody, Tua, they don't. They Tua look like they're playing have, with no quarterback. Tua doesn't have the arm strength and the accuracy that Mahomes does. I'm not saying he does. Like he's definitely not as accurate as Mahomes. And arm strength, he has the arm strength, but he doesn't even have the arm strength that Mahomes has either. He's better with Waddle than than Tua. I, I, I think I don't know. I, I just don't think Tua is gonna be I, I don't think Hill's gonna be a great fit for that team. Yeah, Waddle well, was his teammate in college, so that makes sense. Yeah. So, you know, we'll we'll see. We'll see. But the Bills are the only team in the East where I'm like, if we're playing them, okay, I'll chalk that up and say we're gonna lose that. The other ones, I think we can beat them. I think we could split with those other teams. I think we can at least split with the Dolphins and Patriots. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see how the East shakes out and see if anybody else shows anything aside from the Bills. We're all expecting the Bills to 
be the ones to run away with it, and maybe they will, but we'll see if the other ones, if the other three teams make it interesting. So, right. Right. Yeah, and that brings me on, that brings us to uh, my team, the Philadelphia Eagles, and my di- in my division, the NFC East. Uh, the Eagles against the Lions. Well, first of all, like I said, I mean, the, the Eagles and Lions, I know we've either the Lions have beaten us badly at times, or we've beaten the Lions badly. Like, I don't know why those. You know, those games sometimes be so close or something. It, they, they, they're like all over the place. And I usually hate it too because I, I know I don't think highly of the line. I don't think anyone does. But in this game, I don't I mean, this seemed like the Lions fucking improved. Like, you know, I, I don't know. But, but then also, I, I don't think it's in spite of the Lions. I think it's just Eagles made too many mistakes. Now, on the offense, I, I will say Jalen did improve a little bit in terms of his passing. Uh, but I'm, but in terms, but in terms of winning the game with his arm, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not really confident about that yet. Cause dude really just, he, he's like a one read quarterback, you know, in this case, it's, a, it's AJ Brown. Like, you know, cause they have that connection. That was like the, that was like the sure connection. That was the connection that of the whole game. Like every single time, you know, he, he fed that nigga that ball so much that Devontae Smith was kind of angry about it. Cause he was getting no touches. So it's like, or no looks or none of that. So, um, yeah, it's, it's it's one of those things. Uh, it's one of those things with with Jalen. It's like I, I need him to at least understand that he has he has a core. He has a he has a wide up core. You know he has you know he has tight ends that can catch. He has running backs. Like I need to make sure that he has you know they, they at least that the all they all get in the mix. You know, but I mean I understand. Well, well I will say this. I will say this, Pat, because I did watch the Eagles game as well. Um, I with the whole one read thing. I'm not sure if that's him or if that's by design because from what I've seen, the Eagles still are very run oriented. Right. To where yeah. it's like they want to run first. And sometimes it's like, okay, when you're a run first team and you want passing plays for for that team, sometimes they'll design it where it's just, okay, we'll just do the one read and just get it out to your first guy like AJ Brown and and kick it out that way. Like we don't know if 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 the display calling is designed like that or if that's just Jalen Hurts just saying, Okay, I'm just gonna lock on to the first guy and that's it. I'm still not sure yet. I think more games are needed to determine that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this point, so, I mean, and the reason why I say it's because when Minshew took uh, took over the last couple games for the season, he didn't. I mean, he he got the ball around, he passed the ball, so that's why I'm thinking it's it's him more than. You let, know, let me ask you this, Pat. Do you think Devon? Because you know Devon is the highest man and a killer in Alabama. Do you see him being a wide receiver one for y'all, or is it too frail? I mean, I, I mean, I do think he needs to bulk up, but I mean, he he has to he he has definitely has potential to be uh, you know wide receiver one, definitely for sure. Like, yeah, yeah dude, dude is really, 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 really small. Dude is one hundred and sixty-five pounds, which is ridiculously yeah. small for a wide receiver. Yeah, how yeah. he takes hits, I don't even know. I mean, he's tough, but then also too, you see him when he's not in the uniform. You see him having like the ice on his shoulder and shit like that. Yeah, that does worry me about his, his his you know his durability though. But I mean, so far, I mean. You know, we he's performed when we needed him, so I'm not too worried about him right now. Hopefully, you know, they do, you know, he adds on like another 20, 25 pounds at least. Did he play game one? He had zero, he had zero stat lines. No, he <laughs> played. He played. He just didn't show up. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, now I see what Pat's talking about. I mean, I watch some of it. I'm a red zone nigga, man. I just be watching the red zone. <laughs> so, yeah, but yeah, but Pete, the, what you mentioned, yeah, the running game was on point. Yeah, the running game was uh, was uh, it was working. You know, was it Sanders scored, Boston Scott scored, like you know, Jalen took one in, like. You know, um, yeah, it, it, it was four different rushing touchdowns. Like that was the first time, what you know, since like 1960 or 61, they kept on saying, yeah, yeah. like yeah, that, that, that running game was was unbelievable. I, I, I was I was I was thoroughly impressed. I'm like, that's what I wanted to see. You know, keep it on the ground, you know, especially with someone like I said. I mean, I like Jalen Hurts, but I, I think his I think his highest potential is just being a game manager at least, and trying to hopefully he limit some of his mistakes. You know that. I mean, I, I mean, if he if he if he becomes elite, great. But honestly, I don't see him as elite. But I do see him as someone with uh, with the, with the talent that he has. That would be you no know, that that he could lead them somewhere. Um, but the shit that was killing me the whole fucking game was the defense. The defense was her ass. Like, and I, I put I put so blame on Gannon. Like Gannon, like he, he's to me he's already in the hot seat because. We should have blown the niggas out when Bradbury got that pick six. But 
whatever reason, after that, you know, Goff is out there, you know, you know, throwing and hitting everything in sight, man. And that game was too close. I mean, you guys were, you know, you guys were online with me, you know, before we did the Sunday cast, and you're hearing me flip out over what I was fucking watching. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that that defense stinks, and like. I'm just hoping, and you know, I know they're saying that maybe because the most of the stars didn't play all that much in preseason, and that's another thing. Motherfuckers need to start actually taking preseason seriously. Like, I, like if that's the case, like now there's less preseason games because <laughs> they added on an extra game for the season. There's less preseason games, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they really need to, they really, they really need to start taking that shit seriously because I don't want to you know, see shit like that. Looking, looking defense like like players like Hargrave and Fletcher Cox. Looking just washed, like, 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 they, like, you know, why do we even, and especially cock, we gave, we gave that nigga like, let's just kind of, let's just kind of up there in age, though. Like, he's kind of, he's kind of getting old, like, but, you know, yeah, no, I, but, from, from yeah. what I've known, it's their, their, with their defense, they're running, they, they couldn't stop the run. Like, yeah, that, it, you know, that, the only time, the only time that they're able to do that was when Jordan Davis was on the field. Jordan Davis, when he was on the field, dude was stopping the run. When He's he a was, monster. He don't start for y'all? No. Huh. Yeah, I don't monster. know why. They, they, because they want to ease they want to ease him in because at Georgia, the, at, when he played at Georgia, he didn't play every down. Like they managed it. Like, I, and he's kind of heavy, so he's like, heavy guy, I don't know if yeah. he can play every all three downs. Well, even he's Aaron Donald, guy. Aaron Donald don't play every down. You know what I mean? I guess, but yeah. Don't right. Plus, yeah. if you had hit, you can't have you can't have um, him, Jordan Davis, and Fletcher Cox on the on the team on the line at the same time because that's a really slow fucking line. <laughs> right. Yeah. But it was it was just killing me. I was just like I was like, damn, he, he needs to, he needs to play more because like I said, when like, I think one of the stats was when he was on there, he only allowed two point nine yards of carry. When he wasn't, it was ten yards. Like that's that's a huge difference. Like clearly he's a clearly he's a difference maker. So like yeah, they need to put him up and like Gannon needs to you know figure some shit out on that. And um special teams, I'm kind of in the middle. But one thing is for sure, uh, Kez Watkins is not no fucking return specialist. Like, I don't know what the fuck it is. Like, I don't know why they, I don't know why he's always in that position, but he, he don't do shit. Like, he don't do shit. Like, every single, like, we don't have, like, uh, yeah, that, that's like, that's pretty much the only thing I say. Like, we, there's gotta be someone else that's a better punt returner than him. Like, I, I don't want him on there. <laughs> it's like, you know. You know that it, it, you know yeah. But other than that, special teams, I'm kind of like you know I, I'm good at, at least for now. And obviously the kicking, you know, Jake Elliott still makes all his kicks and everything like that. Rick Lovato still doing his thing. So yeah, I, I have no problem there. But yeah, our biggest issue is the defense. We can't be scoring all these points, but then having you know t- getting into cause getting to the shootouts with the Lions was was, was kind of disgraceful to me. I, I I didn't like seeing that. Like we won just barely, barely by the skin of our teeth. You know, that's why I was telling Rome, it's like, the Lions are no joke. Like, I mean, I, I do think they can do something in your division. You know, they seem improved, you know. But, yeah, but I think a lot of it's just that like, the Eagles' defense kind of shift the bed. And I'm just hoping that maybe it's that excuse that they didn't play much in preseason. They can actually get their shit together, you know. Because uh, we got the Vikings next, so we, we better get our shit together. <laughs> Because you know them niggas are still smiling after what we did to them in the in the NFC Championship game, you know, on the way to the Super Bowl. You know, they, you know, you know they still pissed about that. And also, and Derek Barnett, you know, tearing his ACL too in his first game. <sighs> yeah, Derek, Derek, Derek Barnett's probably getting up there too. Like, what are you, what are you gonna say? It's like I, I know a lot of these cats are probably are like probably on their last leg, like literally. So, but in terms of favorite, I mean, honestly. I can't see the I can't see the Eagles not coming out of the NFC East. I mean, the Cowboys, <laughs> you know, they didn't score no touchdowns. Like, you know, they, their offense was like piss poor before Dak, you know, got a thumb injury and everything like that. So, yeah. So Cooper is gonna be in that. So yeah, I'm not I'm not worried about no Cowboys. Like, no. Nah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all y'all are in a prime position unless. Um... The uh, Reds, whatever they're called, commanders. Yeah, the um, commanders, nah, nigga, they just skin. They just skin, bro. They dead skin. Yeah, I, 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 dead skins, like the skins. Like yeah. I, I know me and Pete kind of had a little mini argument about that, but I, I can't see them as no damn commander. Yeah, commander, football team, no, but um. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm gonna send a, I'm gonna send a meme to the chat, by the way, with the Cowboys and the rest of them, because this shit had me dying. 
Hold on. Yeah, y'all, y'all should, I mean, I'm probably a huge Cowboys fan, so I'm always partial. But with, with Dak out to like six weeks, I mean, y'all have a, a head start. Y'all, y'all should win that division, man. Yeah, like like all my all the Cowboys fans are like, because uh, I, I know, unfortunately, I know a lot of Cowboys fans, and all the niggas is like furious with like, with how bad the offense look. And, and like I say, and the defense is, and the defense is aged out too. Like they, uh, like they trade it like. Yeah, their defense is trash. Like they're not gonna do anything. All right, send it to the chat. Y'all get a laugh at that one. Let me see this shit real quick. Oh yeah. (laughs) Oh yeah. yeah. (laughs) Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, Off the strength of that, I followed that. I followed that IG account because I I was so impressed by that. You know, I I, I was impressed by the the ingenuity of that of that tweet. (laughs) But let's see. But yeah, Washington. I mean, for now, I mean, I mean, Carson, you know, played a decent game uh, on there. So, I mean, but Washington is Washington. As long as Snyder has that fucking team, uh, they're, they're, they're going to implode in some fashion. Either that or Carson, you know, I hate saying this because, you know, he did win us the Super Bowl for the Eagles. Like, you know, no matter what people want to say, you know, he, he did. He, he was the big reason why we got that ring. You know, I just think he's gonna fuck up like he did, like he did with the Col- like he did with the Colts last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, he actually good numbers last year, but he choked when it mattered. But he did have actually. Oh, well, he, he choked big time. He, he I, choked- I mean, I think I think I think Washington's a better fit for Wentz than the last couple quarterbacks they've had because he can actually make the throws to guys like McLaurin and like like they've got wide receivers that like Wentz would would do well with. It's just a matter of if, if Carson's just gonna fall apart like he did like the last couple of times. Um, yeah, the Colts the Colts had a, a, a fucking terrible wide receiver core last year. They, right. they, actually, they still do. But um um yeah no I mean Carson Wentz that that Super Bowl year, I mean he was looking like a next Aaron Rodgers prime, you know like I don't yeah, know he, something I mean, like football dude, throwing dude, off one foot that like, season. Yeah, dude, dude was MVP that season. He was good. Uh, if you know, if had he stayed healthy and he, had he actually got some more than one, yeah, he would have been MVP like straight up and down. Like dude was having that type of season. The injury ruined his trajectory because he was looking like Aaron Rodgers 2.0 for a hot second. Like he was going off that. that yeah, year. he was dangerous. Like he, he wow. was, he was really. But when he went down, he was the best quarterback in the league. There was no question about that. Like, he was balling it. Yeah, you know. So I mean, I mean, I mean, I hope he does. You know, regain momentum in Washington, but not at the expense of the Eagles, of course. We can't have that. Right <laughs> yeah. you know, and then the Giants, well, I mean, they won the game. You know, they beat the Titans, right? Yeah, so it's like... They how the Barclays fuck did they win that game? I have they no Barclays. idea how they won that game. The, the, the coach went for it on two... I mean, the last... The coach went for it on two-point conversion to get that... Uh, that lead, man. I was kind of, and I don't know if the kicker missed the kick, the Titans kicker, but I don't know. Giants played better than I thought they would because that's their roster is pretty bad to me. Was there bad kicking in that game? I wouldn't. It's surprised. like every game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The kicker, the Titans kicker, missed it at the end. He missed yeah, it in the end. Yeah, bullet. yeah, bullet missed it. Yeah, yeah, no. The yeah, the Steelers, Bengals, they had some horrible missed kicks. I like that was Lord. terrible. Yeah, that was the worst of those games. Like, I mean, it was geez. a good game, but it was terrible in terms of. So many chip shots missed, and yeah, it was. Yeah, it, it was entertaining. It was entertaining as game. Yeah. yeah, it was entertaining, but it was just seeing so many people, so many kickers miss their. It was it was horrible. I was like, good lord, like get up out of there, you know. But um, but yeah, like and then like I said, I don't really fear the Giants all that much. So yeah, like honestly, you know, it, we should. I, I'm I'll be after because you know, I'd say maybe you know we get we get to at least eleven wins. I would say. You know, at least you know, I'll say that. I mean, we, I mean, we, I mean we, hell, we may even wrap up. We, we, we could probably even wrap up the division with that. Who knows? <laughs> um, you know, I mean, I, I think it's all. But I think really, it's all on just make sure the defense tightens up, and at least Hurts realizes. You know, and Hurts, you know, not realize. You know, he has other receivers other than AJ Brown. Although I love the connection right now because AJ Brown, you know, he, he got his stats. You know, what I'm saying so. I'm, I'm happy with what he did, but. Yeah, like I, I need him to spread the ball around just a little bit more. Yeah, and it, but yeah, fuck all the other NFCs too. Fuck the Cowboys. Fuck the Cowboys fans. Fuck Jerry Jones. Excuse me, Jarrah Jones. Fuck his sons. Fuck the stadium. Fuck Texas. Fuck everything about Dallas. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, niggas is bums. You know? Fuck them. Can't stand them motherfuckers. They, they, they always talk that confidence shit. You know, it's like, well, you know, it's their year and they always fall apart. Yo, shit's getting old. Like. Niggas like you know you brag when you guys can get to a fucking NFC Championship game. Niggas, the last time they won a Super Bowl it wasn't even there was no HD or anything like that. It was on VHS. 
you yeah, saw that, you, know, you know that meme like <laughs> that's some yeah. uh, Cowboys one. You see a picture of VCR. Straight up SD. You see a pictures we have the lines in the middle in the, in the TVs and shit like that. Like niggas ain't you know niggas ain't winning no shit. Nigga. Like fuck fuck the Cowboys, man. <laughs> Oh, this nigga said it was said pause, yo. But yo, since you listening, yo, get you know, get ready to si- get ready to sign in in a couple minutes, nigga. We about to wrap up anyways. Uh, so yeah, so obviously you know, you know, obviously you know, as we go through our teams, man. So I mean, who do, so who are we thinking is gonna, is gonna come out of the AFC and the NFC this year? Are we all in agreement with the Buffalo Bills that we all think it's gonna do that? <laughs> I mean, I, I know Pete. I, mean, I know Pete probably don't want to really stay. Fuck the Bills. <laughs> I think Bills should be the favorite. Uh, I mean, again, the AFC West, whoever, like, the, I don't know, the Chargers. You know, Herbert gets stick out. You know, a little bit. You know, the white QB thing. He is balling, but he doesn't get to the playoffs before. You know, and he, you know what I'm saying in, in regard to that. Um, the Bills should be the favorites, but I um, mean, can't count the Chiefs and. You know, the Bengals are looking like they might have a down year, but, you know, they did have a magical run last year. Maybe they can recreate the magic. Yeah, it's, look, it's looking like the Bills, unfortunately. Fuck Buffalo. <laughs> NFC is toss-up, man. I mean, I honestly don't think, I mean, I, you know, I'm a Rams fan. I hope we get back there. But, you know, NFC is always like a te- the team that just randomly comes up there. You know, like, you know, you don't expect that team to make a run. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm trying to think. Like, the Bucks are kind of old. Tom Brady's are kind of old. I mean, fuck, like, who else we got? Uh, and and that, my Eagles. Maybe the yeah. Vikings might do. Maybe, it. maybe the Vikings, but Kirk Cousins is Kirk Cousins. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. I actually think I actually think the Saints are a sleeper. Low key, bro. I mean, I'm, I, I always root for Jameis, so this, this, the Saints, you know, if they, they, they put it together, they can make a. You know, they should win that division, actually, NFC South. Yeah, they should. You know, the, um, Panthers well, and Falcons. What do you guys think? Look, not not what do you guys think for NFC though? I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, I, I mean, I'll say. I mean, it's. You know, I say it's either the Eagles or the Vikings, uh, or the yeah, Eagles or Vikings, really. And Rams. I mean, I'm willing to see. Vikings are strong. Yeah, yeah. Vi- Justin just Jefferson's the motherfucker, man. Justin Jefferson, Jettis, he's a problem. Yeah, and then, but well, of course, we can't count the Bucks out because for some reason, you know, the, the, them refs love Tom Brady, you know, especially oh, since yeah. they shafted us in the playoff game. You know, they, they, they let us know off the bat that they, there was no upset, so it was going to go down. Like, this, you know, Tom Brady's going to win this game and move on. Like, you know, they, 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 they already know what time it is, so we can, we can never sleep on him. We can never sleep on the Bucks straight off just because of that. No, I mean, I would love to, but yeah, I, mean, I would say, I mean, if to be honest, I mean, I would say the Vikings are looking the strongest out of the NFC, really, even even stronger than the Eagles. But yeah, so Cousins is, you know, he's what he is. <laughs> oh man, no, but yeah, no, I, I can't wait for this NFC uh, NFC uh, to the, this uh, this NFL season. And Android, he said he's forced to be a Bills fan here because it's the closest team to the border. Well, at least you picked a good time to actually be, uh, you know, to actually be a football fan, or at least be to pick a team, you know. So I mean, hey, you know, when you when they do win it, you, it'll be it'll be sure to right for you to go there and celebrate. You can you can go through a table like the niggas like to do. <laughs> you know, niggas act like the Dudley Boys when they when they win. The I was game. I was literally just thinking the Dudley Boys. I'm like, damn. <laughs> bad though but yeah so that that's our nfl preview and obviously we'll probably do more shows like that maybe probably mid-season and then obviously when the playoffs hit and of course when super bowl hits but now you know we're about to switch to uh you know another topic more serious topic um but before i do obviously i need you know i'm about to introduce someone who also just came into the tent i'm gonna let him introduce himself yeah, yeah, what it do is about to get real. Shut up with the god, aka the goat artist, aka the world is an op, and you see the world really is an op, so ain't no capping on that shit. Yes, sir. Let's go. Fucking NFL hours over, nigga. Back to the real shit. Nigga, you lucky, you know, nigga. We're first, first, first one, nigga. We're... Oh, hold on. We actually brought this nigga so that we can talk about, you know, Super Bowl predictions. Who you got? I mean, 
shit out of the whole what? I mean, I guess because I'm a Florida nigga, it's either going to have to be like, but uh, what's the three teams we got? We got the Dolphins, Tampa, and what? In the is Jag- Jacksonville, is the Jaguars still a team? Yeah, Jacksonville Jaguars, they're still a team. Surprising. So any three of them, you know, it do what it do. I guess by pro- proximity, I gotta say Dolphins. Then damn. Yeah, well, well, at least you picked a team though. But nigga, next time though, you come in there, make sure you have them cookies ready for us, nigga. What the fuck? Nah, <laughs> who, the, who the fuck wants to eat cookies while watching football? Like that's nigga, that's, like some, that's what that's, you know, some, some lame ass shit. Any nigga, that's not, watching, shit, like, any nigga that's not watching football is clearly baking cookies in the kitchen, nigga. That's how nah, nigga, we establish. Nigga, that. Niggas is in the trap sometimes. Motherfuckers ain't in no goddamn. In the oven trap. Man, we, we, we're, not, we're not trying. We're not trying to eat no cookies, man. Make us some jerk wings, bro. <laughs> you said cookies, like <laughs> coming up, boys. Uh, <laughs> your oatmeal, like get the fuck out of here. Like, Yo, I, 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 was, I was gotta get this nigga shit though. I mean, it, 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 it's all love though, but I, I gotta get this nigga about this football shit. But Although yeah. like, these cookies just seem like some weird shit to request during watching like sports. Well, no, but like I said, you know, because usually because I'm very, I have a macho attitude towards you know football, so yeah, I assume that niggas don't watch. And I got the football. macho attitude against it, so it evens out. Like, <laughs> like what <laughs> football, nigga? You give him an AR-15, let him go to war, motherfucker. Like, that's a real shit, like the fuck. Oh shit, yeah, I can't with this nigga though. But but at least the, but obviously you know he came on just in time. You know as we you know as we transition to our next topic. Um, 